Hi there, my name is Leah. I am a freshman with junior standing at Olivet College. Um, I just wanted to make a video here about what the campus looks like from one end to the other. Um, I'm not a YouTuber or any of that. I just, I was looking for a lot of information about Olivet College and not a lot of the questions that I had were readily answered for me and one of those was just how large and or small is the campus actually so this video is just going to show you kind of pretty how, how small uh, the the actual scale of the campus is and give like a very broad tour kind of vibe um, just as it goes through so here i have a campus map that is available online. I can include the link below, um, but I just wanted to show you guys what map I will be referring to um, as I talk about the campus, and it will also, there will be a little map in the lower corner of the video. All right, so first things first, that is the Cutler Event Center and the Marathon gas station that's right next to it. So Cutler is going to be where um, a lot of athletic teams work out. All the athletic facilities are right on over there. Um, the next thing that we have is the um, little drive-in that's available on campus. Um, I think they're open from like February to October. Um, they have really fun treats there that a lot of students enjoy. Right up here, we have the Gillette Student Village, which is a set of apartments that are GPA-based. Um, they're the newest apartments on campus, to my knowledge, and um, they are competitive um, based on class standing and GPA. Next, as we walk right on up here, um, the campus is extremely walkable, but right up here on the right, that's where that Olivet College sign is. That's where, like, the actual campus kind of more formally begins as we get into Greek houses. You'll see a couple of them on the left. I'm not super familiar with Greek life, but we do have a bunch of Greek houses on campus. Um, as I turn around, we are going to take a look at building number 19. That's going to be our conservatory, lots of music classes. I had myself in community course there, um, things like that. And right here is the KC Kirk Center. That is our cafeteria um, where all students collect if they have any sort of meal plan. And then on the right here, this is called the square. Um, number 13, which I will definitely talk about a little bit more as we get around to there. Up here on the left, this is where I'm currently living for about the next week. Um, this is Dole Hall. This is also the admissions building on the first floor. And then the second and the third floor are for housing. So I will have a video all about Dole Hall and if it's a right fit for you um, coming soon. And then that's the other Olivet College sign over there. So that's going to be the end of campus. Like, that's it. So we're crossing the road right now to go to the other half of campus. Just kind of that main street right in the middle. That's what divides campus. This is the art building. Um, that would be number six. So that's where I spend a lot of my time as an art major. Um, it's one of the newer academic buildings on campus. On the left here, we have the beautiful library, and that is also where campus safety is located. And then right ahead, that's where the Olivet Congregational Church is, that other stone-looking building right up there. We're going to take a right here, and we're going to cross the road. Um, this is the square, so I'm going to kind of do a circle, do a spin, and show you guys what it looks like all around, and I'll tell you the buildings as we go around. 
So that's number 10. That's going to be the Mott Academic Building. That's where a ton of classes are taken of varying subjects. There's the church, the library with campus safety. Way over there, that's going to be Dole. And then where all these bushes are, you can't see it too well, but that'll be the KC. And then there's the conservatory. This is Blair Hall. We haven't quite talked about that yet but we will get over there in just a minute. Here's a closer look at Mott. Like I said before, lots of um, varying courses. There are always students in here. It's always a busy building because there's a lot going on in there. They also have auditoriums in there as well for presentations. This is Shippard Hall. Um, this is another one of our living spaces that is available on campus. And that is where I'm moving, so I should have something up about that soon. Um, I just wanted to pause. You can see there's construction. Um, this is the Cutler Student Center that is coming um, next year. So those are the signs and that's so. Okay, I'm cutting across the lawn here. Um, just to stay out of the way of the construction, but that is Blair Hall. That is a male only um, dorm. We do, it is kind of more of a male dominated campus, so we do need more space for the boys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. There will be more to come about the building specifically, um, but if you have any questions, Feel free to comment them down below. I will I get an email every time someone comments, so I will be sure to get right back with you. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. I realized that I didn't refer to as many numbers as I probably could have on the map, but you can walk um, from the south end, like Cutler, to the north end in just a few minutes. I mean, and I'm not a super fast walker. So it, it doesn't take very long, and they do maintain the sidewalks very well when it's snowy and icy. Um, you might have noticed that the campus looked a little drab. We had just had about six to eight inches of snow, and it had all melted. And then I was like, oh, well, the weather's a little better, so I better take a video. Well, nobody's on campus, so I don't look too silly. But um, yeah, that's, that's about how the campus looks. Um, in the winter when there's no snow not a whole lot of color to it but yeah very small campus very walkable um, a lot of students don't have cars i do and i have an internship in charlotte i can talk a little bit more about the surrounding areas if that would be helpful but um if you're just there to learn either i mean a car is definitely not a necessity. It's, it's so small that it's very easy if you're able to walk, um, just to walk it. Even in the winter, just get on your hat and your mittens and you will definitely be okay. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and stay tuned for more.